Do you love your cellulite? Do you love your fat hips? Do you love your tiny breasts? If you're like most of us, there is some part of your body that you don't like. So that's what I want to talk to you about today and why you need to change your attitude about your body. Hi, I'm Kara O, oh, and this is another edition of Lip Smack and Love. There are three reasons why you need to love your body. One reason is if you don't and you're focusing on those things you don't like about it, you're very likely to point it out to your partner. This is a huge mistake because men don't notice the things that women do. We can, I mean, we are into the subtleties and most of those little subtleties we don't like. Don't point them out to him because then he becomes aware of them. Men are just thrilled that you'll get naked with them. Really. They're just thrilled. And, and I mean, they hear they have this naked woman that they can not only touch, but they can make love to it. They are thrilled. Another, the second reason why you should love your body is a man is turned on by a woman who likes her body. You don't have to like everything about it. I don't love every inch of my body, but overall I love my body. I am so thrilled that I have this body that allows me to enjoy life so much. So he's turned on by you simply by appreciating and feeling comfortable in your own skin. That's a second reason. And the third reason you will be happier. You will enjoy sex more. You will enjoy your clothing more. You will enjoy life more if you fall in love with your body. Feminine grace is the foundation of everything I teach. And it's introduced in Men Made Easy, the, like the first book that every woman should read before they read my other books. It explains men, but it explains what feminine grace is all about and how important it is for your well-being and for the well-being of your relationship and your partner for you to fall in love with being a woman. And that's what Feminine Grace is all about. Who you are, how you are, and how you look. Fall in love with that. And I swear, it will be like the most powerful aphrodisiac you could ever ask for. And it's free. All you need to do is start working on falling in love with who you are. Become the magnificent woman you know you're capable of being. So, don't focus on what you don't like about your body. Enjoy it. Let him enjoy it. Don't go back and out of the, <laughs> the room because you don't want him to see your butt. That's, that means you're not confident in your body. Go ahead and strut. Let him see that butt. He likes that butt. Be proud of who you are. Be proud that you're a woman and you have all these wonderful curves and breasts and all these wonderful parts that, that he just loves. That's your job. That's your assignment. Go discover how you can love your body. If you need to lose some weight, lose some weight. But don't complain about it. If you're not going to lose the weight, then figure out how to love the body you have so that he can love it. Or if you're dating and you're wanting to attract a man, you don't have to be pencil thin. You don't have to be any kind of thin. You just have to love your body. And my recommendation, weight-wise, healthy. Go for healthy. You know what healthy looks like, and you know what, it, what healthy eating is, is about, because we're talking about it everywhere. It's in every, every kind of media, print and TV, everywhere you look is how to eat well, healthy. It's up to you. But if you're going to, you know, if you're going to be what you would consider overweight, get used to it, get to liking it, and you will be happier, and so will he. So that's just a little bit about feminine grace, about your body, about sensuality, and about love and life. I'm Kara O, wishing you lots of lip smack and love. Mwah!